Welcome to Damaging Ignorance. Damaging ignorance is important because whoever controls your language of discourse controls your reality. Every story has two sides to it. On this show, we challenge the dominant discourse of the week. We challenge the dominant discourse not because our side is right, but because the other side could be wrong. We offer you the actual position of things, and we are rarely wrong. And even when we are wrong, it is because we do not choose to be right. <laughs> so, today we're talking about BBI. Mm -hmm. The first <laughs> principality of ignorance that we have to damage is about the BBI report. This is not the real document. Mm. This is a decoy. <laughs> <laughs> have you read it? Personally, I've read bits and pieces of it. Bits and pieces. No, no, no. You've gone up to page number what? Uh, I think I... Have you, have you read page, you? page number 99? <laughs> <laughs> have, you read, have you read page number 18? No, I read the annex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking that because anybody who tells us that they have read the entire 156 pages of the BBI report is a liar. Mm, yes. And if they're going to church this morning, this Sunday morning, we need prayers. Yeah. And I'm saying so because yeah. the report begins at page number 21. Mm. Mm. And it ends at page number 98. Mm. Yeah. Before our preliminaries, yes. and after page uh, number number 98, yes. are annexes. Yes. Okay. Annexes is who attended what seminar, yes. where the seminars were held. Yes. Mm. So when Murkum mm. tells us he spent time to <laughs> four <years. laughs> reading. reading annexes of seminars. Yeah. On 56 pages. On 56 right. pages. Yeah. Uh, these people are lying. Mm. Mm. But I must also say, the reason why I would agree with you that maybe this is a decoy yes. is because when every report yeah. has what you call form and content. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the form is the way you package it. Yes. Yes. The content is what it speaks to. Yes. yes. The form, the packaging of this report is horrendous. Mm. I must say that. Yes. Mm. When I got hold of it, yeah. I yeah. my appetite was up. Yes. And the, the title yeah. was fantastic. Yeah. Building yeah. bridges yeah. to a United Kenya. Yeah. From a yeah. nation of blood ties to a nation of ideas. Yeah. I got a glass of red wine. I sat down. Yeah. I said, man, <laughs> I want to savour this story. Yeah. But when I got in, yeah. mm. uh, you know, I wanted to really consume this. The form, the way it is packaged, mm. yes. horrible. Yes. <laughs> see this? So they were justified. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, see, if you are to sell something yes. mm -hmm. to the public, you need to package it in a way that it is digestible, yeah. so it's consumable. Yeah. But this might taste very nice, yes. but the way it looks, even <laughs> when you start reading it, yes. Yes. Not even the way it looks, even the way they wrote it. Yes. Mm. The, the, whoever, the writing was mm. 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 Uh, very much like Mashakura. <laughs> <laughs> so, so are you saying, Prof, that this document read, reads like the work of a committee? Yes. I, and you know what they say about committees, right? <laughs> <coughs> a camel, they say that a camel is a horse designed by a committee. So what you're telling us by extension is that this is this looks like a camel, whereas it's supposed <laughs> to be looking like an elegantly uh, beautiful, designed, beautiful horse. Horse, that's true. But, but you, you, you also have uh, another definition of a committee. Mm. You say it's an assemblage of the incompetent, chaired by the enemy, to do the unnecessary. <laughs> Let me tell you what. This report was not written by a committee. Mm. I'm persuaded. Okay. This report was written very cleverly. Mm. And it was guided by a council yeah. of uh, elders. Mm. And I'm saying that because oh, yeah. currently our country is in what we call a constitution moment. Yeah. Yes. And our crisis has two elements to it. Mm. The first one is uh, the crisis of inclusion. The second one is a is a crisis of uh, a cyclic violence every five years. Yeah. And I think that this report 
dealt with the crisis of inclusion mm. to some extent. Mm. But it never looked at all yes. at the crisis of uh, cyclic violence. violence. I'm persuaded that uh, the drafters of the report got to a point where they had done the report, they had finished it, they presented yeah. it to the owners, mm -hmm. and then the owner said, if we give this report to <laughs> Kenyans, the yeah. way you have suggested, uh -huh. yes. it will be dead on arrival. Yes. So what they said is, why don't we give a consensus report yes. first? Yes. And we show that we are working towards consensus. Yes. But then the cyclic uh, violence that we experience every five years, yes. we arrive at that later. later. Mm. We can address it later. We can address it later. And, yeah. and my thinking is that that is exactly what they did. Yes. Mm. So the committee that uh, put this thing together was told, Go put together a mother than your report. Yeah. That's why it is written so badly. That's why I'm saying anybody who says they read it and <laughs> oh, yeah, is lying. Lying. <laughs> because it reads very bad badly. Yeah. But the intentions here is that once you put it out there, it becomes a conversation piece. Yes. Yeah. We can sit here and talk about it. Yeah. And once conversations begin around it, yeah. then the conversations will be led in the direction of what the owners of yes. the report want. Yeah. Yeah. And in my view, the direction <laughs> is very simple. <laughs> the only way to end the cyclic violence will be yes. through a parliamentary system. The report pretended to be cowardly mm. in that respect. Mm. Yeah. But essentially, they were being tactical in doing it. Yeah. They wrote it badly so that we are decoyed yes. into having conversation around the long sentences yes. and the, uh, the, the, the horrible side of the report. Yes. Uh, Yet, somewhere within it, yes. the content is supposed to lead us towards a parliamentary system. system. That's my thinking. And again, so, could so. also be wrong. In the last election, we spent 123 days. Yeah. And we lost one trillion shillings yes. during mm. that period of time. Mm. Yeah. We were losing one billion shillings every single, single day. day. Mm. Yeah? yeah? That is a problem with our electoral system. Yes. The maraga there and the system itself. Yeah. Now, if this report has not dealt we with that, that problem, and they have given us the coffee and non consensus. Yes. Mm. Uh, of uh, 2008, yeah. mm. February, mm. but it has not gone beyond that to deal with the mischief around which the constitution was written by Muzungus. Yes. Mm. Then there can only be one or two things. Yeah. One, maybe this committee was not competent. Mm -hmm. Or two, maybe it's a ploy. Yeah, they it's had a decoy. They had a, a brief. Decoy. And in my thinking, this, uh, if you have Tinga and Uru together, yeah. it's a decoy. This we are, <laughs> they're taking us this way, but the idea <laughs> is okay, this way. my thinking. And then again, I could also be right. Which takes us to our second principality of ignorance. The mm. second pr principality of ignorance that we have to damage is about the referendum. Referendum will not happen. We will go through parliament. But before you ask that, mm. Two weeks ago, mm. I had a question, mm. and I was told the question I asked did mm. not have legs. Mm. So I want to pose it again. <laughs> pose it, all right. Now I asked, should BBI propose a system that is parliamentary, all right? And uh, Raila Odinga and William Ruto come together. Raila Odinga goes for ceremonial president. William Ruto goes for executive premiership. What would this portend for Gemma? I think that would look very nice. Maybe, maybe that's what Uhuru mm. is working on. Mm. But for me to explain the question without legs, yeah. you know, when you ask an elder like me, mm. hmm? <laughs> a question I cannot answer on the spot, <laughs> tradition requires that, yes. that you say that question has no legs. Yes. When I was a little boy, 
my mother wanted to socialize me into the ways of Ekoyos. Yes. And so she decided to give me the story of Ekoyo and Mumbi. Yes. Mm. She told me there was a man called Ekoyo, the yeah. founder of our community. Yes. He had a wife called Mumbi. Mm. And they had nine daughters. Yes. And the family grew into the whole nation and they lived happily ever after. Right. As a little inquisitive boy, I asked my mother, yeah. excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> nine girls, yeah? yeah? There was no boy. Yes. So if the nine girls got pregnant, yeah, they yeah. got children, yeah. where did they get the children from? Yeah. Oh, what an uncomfortable <laughs> question. What an uncomfortable <laughs> question. I gave her a hypothesis uh, as a little boy. Yeah. No hypothesis, but you know, either the father, yeah. oh goodness, <laughs> sired these children, which means yeah. that yeah. Uh, uh, that was an ancestral community, yeah. yes. nation, mm -hmm. or two, these women, yeah. nine girls, yeah. were sired by yeah. people from other communities, other communities, the yeah. Kambas, the mm. Maasai, the Kalenjins, the Kalenjins. Yeah. And then my mother beat me to <laughs> submission. She says, that's a question without legs. <laughs> she couldn't answer it. Um, <laughs> but but uh, I think the point there is really that the German nation must hang together or they will hang separately. Wow. So if you have them split up by William Buto mm -hmm. or split up by um, Raila Odinga, or whatever the case is, they'll be hung separately. And the discomfort in the German nation right now mm. is a discomfort around not knowing what the future after Uhuru Kenyatta will look like. Mm. But should Raila decide to abandon Uhuru yeah. and go with uh, William Ruto, mm. just to answer your question mm. on uh, <laughs> you know, mm. question about legs. Yeah. Uh, Raila will go back, he will have backslidden yeah. into the myth of Sisyphus. Mm. Uh, but we have said that repeatedly, uh, uh, yes. that he is condemned into a myth where he makes very fundamental errors just before he becomes president. Yes. Mm. Sisyphus in Greek mythology was mm. condemned by the gods to roll the stone yes, to the top up, of your hill. up a hill yeah. just before he tips yeah. it to roll yeah. back. Yes. Mm. And uh, if he chooses the root option, yeah. that will be the situation. Because the German nation, if it hangs together, yes, um, might decide to opt for somebody else Absolutely. to mm. work with. Mm. Yeah. And if that happens, you have a situation there. Mm. Yeah. So, referendum will not happen. We will go through parliament. <laughs> you don't... Jamie, you are ah. a lawyer. <laughs> what does Article 255 say? Well, it says that if you're going to change the functions of parliament, you need a constitutional referendum. If you're going to, uh, for example... That's only one part of it. Yes. But the entire of section, no, article, when you talk about the constitution, you talk about articles. Yes. Talking yes. about uh, legislation, talk about sections. Yes. Article 255 says that there are 15 elements mm. that require mm. Mm. a referendum. A referendum. Yes. And um, they are all stipulated there. Yes. No. Uh, now, changing the structure of the executive yes. mm. does not okay. fall under those, under those, under those, under 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 those 15. Under the 15. Yes. But changing the structure of the devolved government yes. falls there. Yes. So the only thing that we should submit to a referendum, in my yes. view, yes. is change is, is you know the proposal. Yeah. Of having a, a male governor, governor and a, a female, no, a woman. a woman. I have always told you there's a difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one refers to anatomy, the other one refers to gender. Mm. So it's mm. not a female; it is it's a woman and a and, and a man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing that will require what a referendum. A referendum, in my view. Yeah. Well, I think it's debatable. And, 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 and you know, uh, somebody said there's as many uh, legal opinions as there are lawyers mm. and as many positions. Yeah. So this might actually end up on uh, Maraga's desk. Could be a question of, I don't know, you know, You know what I think? <coughs> um, the biggest player in this whole constellation yes. mm. is Maraga. Mm. Because you see, 
uh, the making of law mm. has two sides to it. Yes. There is a process. Mm. EBA report is a process. Yeah. This is about consensus building, yeah. collating the thinking of uh, the nation. Mm. And uh, once you have collated that, the second thing about the making of a constitution mm. is the act itself. Yes. Mm. yes. What you do, uh, and the reason why it is called an act is because it, it, is, it is a living process. Yes. Uh, so, so, so then you, you put it into an act, yeah. and then um, it is uh, uh, taken to parliament or whatever it is, and, or to the people, yeah. mm. and we end yeah. up having uh, the constitutional changes. Mm. However, the process of doing that whole thing has to be subjected to adjudication. Mm. Maraga is very critical here. Mm. If you say we take this thing to a referendum, yeah. Maraga can say no. Mm. Article 255 doesn't require you to take it to a referendum. Mm. Yeah. Mm. If you say no, we go to parliament, Maraga can say no. Yes. <laughs> also. Yes. Because you did not give him there. You didn't give him Mercedes SC 500. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't denigrate him like that. But uh, the idea is that he'll be a very critical player yeah. in this whole process. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why government will do well to keep him happy. Oh, yeah. He was given money by Treasury, yes. mm -hmm. but he's still saying he's broke. Mm -hmm. You know what you do? Divide all the money you have into his uh, processes. Yes. And, and completely massage his ego. <laughs> no, his ego. Massage him. The whole <laughs> kabash. <laughs> the third principality of ignorance mm -hmm. has to do with the 2022 election. Mm -hmm. There will be no 2022 election. The election of the president mm -hmm. is meant to be held on the second Tuesday the of August. Of mm -hmm. August. Mm -hmm. Every fifth year. Every, Every fifth, fifth year. year. Yes. Now, my thinking yes. is that August 22 is not the fifth year, it's the fourth year. Mm. Yes. Mm. Depending on how you. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Okay. I, <laughs> on how you interpret it. I see. Mm. <laughs> That's why I'm saying Maraga is a very important cog here. Make yes. the guy happy. Yes. Mm. Yes. Uh, because it can actually be interpreted that yes. uh, you can go to the Supreme Court and not seek for. Or the constitutional court and seek a judicial interpretation. It can be interpreted yeah. that um, the election, the fifth year, yes, yeah, is actually uh, twenty <laughs> twenty three. Especially because yeah. the election, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the election of twenty seventeen wow. happened yeah. in yeah. not in August. Yes, it happened in, in October. October. Mm. So October twenty sixth. Yes. Mm. October 26th. Yeah. Yes. 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 The fifth yes. year yes. would be yes. October 20, 26th, October 25 or 26, 2022. Uh. <laughs> so the fifth year is there an extension. Will be uh, more towards 2023 and less uh, towards uh, 2022. Uh, yeah. They, they, it, we have been invited to have national conversation yeah. regarding the constitution mm. and mm. mechanisms that uh, All right. work around it. Uh, I wanted to just slightly just tilt this question in a different way. And uh, I want to ask, if it seems Raila and Uhuru mm. will get their way, mm. right? will William Ruto do the Samsonian option? Will he bring down the house with him? If it seems like 2022 will not happen, he will not be anywhere in the picture. Will he decide to bring down the house? Everybody else. Samsonian option is about a guy called Samson in the Holy Bible mm. who mm. married a girl called Delilah. Oh, yes. And when they gouged out his eyes, mm. then he was tied to the pillars of the temple and realized mm. he had no option. And they were having a party and mocking him, yes. but his hair was growing because they had cut it. Yes. He decided to use his power to bring down yeah. the temple and yes. have everybody in the party yes. collapse with him. Yes. Now, if you looked at uh, William Bruto at Bombers, yeah, he looked like a oh, guy yeah. who, who, if he does not get the presidency, yes. he's better off ending his useless life. 
oh, wow. committing political suicide. Mm -hmm. Now, if this thing gets to a place where it's very bad, yes, there is a possibility that you could go for the Samsonian option. And mm -hmm. in my view, and because we've been asked to debate this whole process, you cannot debate only this report. You must yeah. debate the circumstances around it as well. Mm -hmm. Maraga has on his desk mm -hmm. a petition. Yes. Either directly or through constitutional interpretation mm -hmm. that argues yes. Parliament has not been able to enact the two thousand uh, 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 rule. Yeah. Now if you throw Maraga into the works, he will say mm. after he, he complained the other day the he was very yeah. unhappy. Yes. yes. He was at Oxford the other day, he was saying this yes. parliament is a joke. Yes. He could do a joker. Mm -hmm. And he might, he might say, let's throw this <laughs> whole thing <laughs> apart, and uh, he dissolves parliament. Yes. Our constitution <coughs> only allows Maraga to dissolve parliament. parliament. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's a possibility. So yes. if uh, William Ruto can do the workings, that might end up becoming the yeah. Yeah. some sort yeah. of option. Sure. Uh, could that be the black swan moment? And, and, and here I want to bring what we call here the Rumsfeld uh, submissions. And Donald Rumsfeld was the Secretary of Defense for George Bush. Yes. And he had this thing called <coughs> the Rumsfeld submissions. Number, there are three components. One is the known knowns, things that we know that we know. Then there are the second thing, which is the known unknowns, things that we know that we don't know. And then there are the unknowns unknowns, things that we don't know that we don't know. Could there be a black swan moment that we are not seeing? Now, the known unknowns mm. in this case mm. is that we know Maraga has a petition yes. on his desk. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But we do not know yes. what, he will do with what he will do with that particular mm. thing. So we know mm. they are known. Yes. Mm. It all lies in his hands. Yes. And uh, if he responds to this document and the debate in a particular way, he could take us. This way. Yes. Yeah. Now the unknown unknown that could become a black swan mm. is a situation where Uhuru is incapable of rolling out his uh, responsibilities yes. as president. Mm. Yes. And the constitution anticipates that. Not only this, but also the Lancaster constitution anticipated wow. that the president is a 65% voter. Mm -hmm. Yes, 35% flesh. 35% flesh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that he is human. In a situation mm -hmm. where uh, he is unable or he is not there, because all of us, what is unknown and known is that we don't know when God will call all of us. The shelf mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Shelf life, you have no idea. Mm -hmm. Should the unlikely situation arise, and mm -hmm. it is good to debate these things, mm -hmm. so we have the entire picture. Mm. Then one WSR, William S. Arab Moy, migrates <laughs> from his position, <laughs> <laughs> deputy president, into a position of president. The constitution says yes. that if yep. he should become president because the president ceases to exist, yes. mm -hmm. he shall execute the entire of the remainder of the term. Yes. Mm. Now, should that happen, everything we have here, by the way, of BBI and the conversations we are having, falls apart. Yeah, falls apart. And that conversation, as we are weighing all the possibilities, must be put on the table oh, as yeah. well. Maraga, the likelihood of William Ruto becoming president because of natural causes, mm -hmm. yes. yeah be put on the table yeah. for conversation. The likelihood that this document is a decoy. Yes. yes. That actually, ultimately, yes. uh, we have some choice architects that want to lead us in a direction mm. and we will happily go there. And I told you last time, you people say, I'm hearing some Kiku person saying they will vote against anything Uhuru says. Mm. They are deluded. Yeah. Tell you what, they, they can vote against it but uh, the guy who casts the vote doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't it's the matter. guy who counts, counts the, vote. the vote. Right, 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 right. <laughs> what a conversation. It is our hope that we have damaged some ignorance.
We also hope that we have exposed the owners of the ignorance project. Things are not as bad as they seem.